Orsalak licks that one to left center field. Bolo won the charge. Bo is there. Yo, on the left that wall. <laughs> Bo, get up that wall. Bo knows exactly what he's doing. Spider-Man. Hi again, this is Corey with DNC Card Breaks. Today we're going to be opening up a box of 1987 Tops. Um, uh, for me, this is uh, really the start of the Junk Wax era, uh, but it it really is a classic uh, uh, a card set. Um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it here. Um, uh, this was actually my first uh, hand collated set of, of cards. Um, actually, my first and only hand collated set of cards. And um, I've always got a, I've always had a special, special place for uh, the '87 Tops set. Um, a little bit of information about this set. Um, it's a 792 card set. Um, it's wood grain design, uh, which for me is uh, what makes this a great card set, is uh, rem very reminiscent of the 1962 top set. Um, uh, if, if you don't know what that looks like, just check that out real quick. Uh, do a Google search. Uh, you'll, you'll see the striking similarities. There's, they're, they're a little different, but the, the wood grain is what really uh, makes those sets look very similar. Um, as I said, this was really the beginning of the junk wax era, uh, and one was, one was one of the most overproduced card sets of all time. Um, as an example, we got I got this box here for, um, uh, along with uh, a few other boxes, uh, including shipping, uh, I averaged about nine dollars and fifty cents uh, for each of the boxes. So this box was about nine dollars and fifty cents. Um, uh, this is a 36-pack box, uh, 17 cards per pack, and, uh, and of course, one stick of gum as well. Um, these retailed for $0.40 cents, uh, a pack back in the day. Um, they also obviously came in, in cello packs and rack packs, and they also had jumbo packs. Um, the rack packs for this 87 top set, which we don't have, we're not opening rack packs here, but if we had those... You probably remember those actually had the the, the glossy all star. Uh, I guess you would call it an insert. Uh, there was one per pack. Um, I actually had a couple of those from from the '87 tops, uh, along with the '88 tops. They did the same thing that year. Probably did the same thing for a few years. I'm not sure, but um, and then the jumbo packs had a, a, a rookies uh, insert of one per pack as well. I'm not not really familiar with that. Um, the, uh, this set also includes uh, the last player cards for Pete Rose and Reggie Jackson. So um, that's something that we're going to be looking for as we, we break into these packs. Um, uh, another cool thing, uh, which you'll notice, hopefully we'll pull a Jose Canseco. Uh, this was the first time Topps used the Topps All-Star Rookie Cups uh, on the front of the card since 1978. Uh, so for some reason they stopped doing that. They brought that back with uh, this set, um, and I I can very very familiar with that look on the Jose Canseco card. Um, there were a lot of rookie cards in this set. Something that makes this kind of a classic set, in my opinion, as well. Um, I'm going to name off all these notable rookies. Uh, these aren't necessarily uh, great players, but they're notable for for either long careers or. Um, the Wally Joyner card, as an example, I remember there was a lot of hype around that card. Um, he had had a really hot uh, uh, start to his career in 86, which made the 87 card um, very valuable back then. But, um, you know, notable rookie cards in this set included Wally Joyner, John Cruck, uh, Bo Jackson, which I'll talk a little bit more about him in a second, Bobby Bonilla, uh, Jamie Moyer. Uh, Mike Greenwell, Ruben Sierra, Doug Drabeck, Mitch Williams, uh, Wild Thing, obviously, uh, Barry Bonds, Will Clark, Chuck Finley, Rafael Palmero, Barry Larkin, uh, and Kevin Mitchell. So, you know, lots of names that you've heard of there. Um, uh, late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s baseball stars there. Uh, Bo Jackson, I'm really hoping to get the Bo Jackson card. If you remember that, it's got the the future stars uh, emblem on the front of that. 
Um, Dustin with DNC Card Breaks, my friend Dustin, he uh, will be posting a video very soon if he hasn't already opening uh, the new set of 2019 uh, Stadium Club. Um, and he was actually lucky enough to pull a, a Bo Jackson uh, autograph, uh, which is which is really cool. I'm very envious of that because Bo was really one of my uh, favorite players. Obviously, didn't have a very long career because of the injuries, but uh, he was one of the most exciting players um, of this era. There are um, I've, I've created a list of cards that I'd you know like to pull from from this box. Uh, this is a um, uh, there's 36 packs uh, and 17 cards per pack, so we've got a total of um, 612 cards here. Uh, there are 60 cards that I'd like to pull, um, and that includes an incredible 42 Hall of Fame cards. Um, uh, most of those were active players at this time. There were a few uh, little special subsets that had uh, Hall of Famers, such as Roberto Clemente and Carl Yastrzemski, the throwback the clock cards. Um, so I've, been, I've included those, but most of these players were actually active at the time. And I've included 18 non-Hall of Fame famers on here. Uh, players like Roger Clemens, Barry Bonds, a few of these uh, notable rookies that I included earlier. Um, uh, so we've got a, got a lot, a lot of cards here to, uh, to target. Um, so uh, we'll just kind of... Kind of starts. This will probably be a, a little bit of a longer video. Um, you know, none of these cards are very valuable. Um, this isn't. I'm not doing this to to try to get these cards and and sell them on eBay or anything. This is this is all about the nostalgia. You know, for me, there's actually uh, value in the entertainment value of actually opening these packs of cards. Um, you know, for me, that's worth, you know, $9 to open these 36 packs. So, um, there's no, I'm, I'm under no illusion that we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna make this $9 back. Uh, but, uh, for me, there's, it's just the entertainment value. You know, it's like going and playing, a um, nine holes of golf for some people. You know, this is just something that's, that's kind of, um, fun to do. So, we're just gonna pull these out. I can... Fill those bubble gum, um, the bubble gum on the top of these wax packs. Uh, very cool. Actually, something on the inside of the box there. I'm not sure if you can see that, Ron. Say Blast 300th Circuit Blast, Cecil Cooper collects 2000th hit. Um, I guess those are on the back. You, uh, I guess you you can cut those out and um, and collect those as well. This, this box, you know, this box is, you know, 30, 32 years old at this point. You know, <laughs> probably been sitting in someone's garage for a long time or the attic or whatnot so you know most of these junk era boxes that you're going to get are not necessarily in the uh the best of shape um uh, but you know in general the cards so far the cards i've gotten have been uh really really um pretty good cards you know no significant creases or um corner bends or anything so May try to save a couple of these uh, wax packs. Never really saved wax packs back in the day, uh, the actual wrappers. But um, you know, there's something kind of timeless and classic about um, these wrappers. Um, you know, Tops kind of had a very distinguishable uh, wax pack. Uh, very similar, use different color schemes throughout the years. We've got some other boxes here that will open. Um, there's a 90 tops. Probably can't really see that. There's we've got an 89 tops there. Um, so uh, over the course of time, we'll we'll rip into some of these other boxes as as well. Um, and like I said, this is going to kind of be a long video. 
Um, hopefully you find this as uh, entertaining and as enjoyable as me. Um, we're just going to kind of take our time and uh, see what we pull. I'm not going to really rush through it for any particular reason. Um, so we'll just see how this goes. We'll not be eating uh, the bubble gum there, which is clearly stuck to the bottom of that um, <laughs> that card. It's where you get those gum stained cards. Uh, <laughs> truth of the matter is, these gum stained cards <laughs> really should be worth more than the others because it's you know it, there certainly would be more they'd be more rare because you'd only have one gum stained card per pack and that. I'm telling you guys, that thing is really, really stuck. Um, Mike Fitzgerald. There it goes. There it goes. So I don't know what we'll do with these, <laughs> these little gum packs. But, um, or gum sticks. But, um, all right, let's just, let's just see what we've got here in our very first pack. Daryl Motley, Rob Murphy, Dave Smith, Tom Seaver. Oh man, so that's um, you know Tom Seaver, one of the greatest right-handed pitchers of of all time. Um, you know, played with I know the Mets and Reds there, um, White Sox. Looks like he maybe finished his career here with the Red Sox. So um. You know, Tom Seaver, let's just look at his, you, you may not be able to see this or not. Um, you know, 311 career wins at this point, so he was a 300 game winner. Um, you know, that's a that's a cool card. Obviously that was on my list as, as a Hall of Famer. Um, Gerald Perry, Sean Dunstan, one of my favorite Cub players back in the day. Ken Oberkfell. Here's our Mike Fitzgerald. No actual stain on the back of that card. So even though the card was, even though it was stuck there, maybe the stain would, actually there is a little bit of stain there. I don't know if you can see it right there, right there where it says Cal High School. Um, you can see a little bit of a stain. All right, and then there's a little special where you could send in some, send in these special cards to get, uh, a mail back of some glossy cards. Cliff Johnson, Jack Morris, uh, obviously a Hall of Famer. Um, you know, best known for me for kind of outdoing John Smoltz in Game Seven. Went ten shutout innings in in a Game Seven. Uh, I think that was the '91 World Series, if I remember correctly. Uh, Lance Parrish All Star cards. So these All Star cards were cool. Obviously, you got the American League logo. Uh, the all-star uh, designation insignia there. So Lance Parrish, catcher, I believe. Uh, yep, all-star catcher with the uh, with the Tigers. Uh, Gary Rowanick. And so here's one of these turn black turn back the clock cards that I was talking about with a Carl Yastrzemski. Um, you know, just talked about 20 years ago. St. Louis Cardinals won the World Series. Uh, so it's really just t talking about 20 years ago. I don't know that there's even a mention. Yeah, there is down here at the bottom, Carl Yastrzemski's mention. So it's really more of just a, a general throwback to clock, what was happening 20 years ago in baseball. Obviously 20 years would have been 1967, so I'm assuming this is the 1967 tops. Yastrzemski card, um, uh, little note is I know uh, I'm not sure how he was related but it's a direct relationship somehow his I think his nephew played for the Vanderbilt Commodores uh, four or five years ago uh, had the same last name as Stremski and I, I know he got drafted I'm not sure where he's at in the minors at this point but uh, I may look that up if you know you know feel free to comment in our in our comments, we're still looking to get comments and, and grow our subscriber base. Um, Dustin and I are kind of really doing this for personal enjoyment, um, getting back into collecting after 
long droughts by each of us, so uh, we'd love some interaction. I'm gonna set that card aside. Roger Craig, um, looking very elderly there. Manager, uh, always, always hated the manager cards. That was kind of a, I don't know. I, I guess there are a few manager cards that were cool. Uh, you know, Pete Rose, some of those old Hall of, you know, they were Hall of Fame players, even though Pete Rose isn't a Hall of Fame player, but should be, but you know, but in general, the manager cards were just, eh, blah. Charlie Moore, Dave Kingman, hit a lot of home runs, but not a Hall of Famer, and John Morris. Well, pack number one, we ended up pulling three Hall of Famers out of that pack, Tom Seaver, Jack Morris, and Carl uh, Yastrzemski. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, you, obviously you can't tell over video, but these these wax packs just have a very, with the gum, you know, it's a very um, nostalgic smell. Uh, that card, it's just that smell of cardboard and, and chewing gum that, um, you know, I, if you smell it, it'll take you right back to, to your childhood. Um, you know, the modern cards obviously don't have that chewing gum, uh, and they're, they're not really printed on this, you know, I guess you'd call it a poor quality of cardboard uh, or cardstock, but the combination is, um, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's almost an intoxicating smell that will take you back. Um, all right, so let's look here. <clears throat> Manny Lee, Bobby Witt, there's a young Tony La Russa. Um, obviously he was a, a player as well, uh, but this was this was right as the A's were, were making their run in the, the late 80s, early 90s with the, the Bash brothers and, you know, uh, Kirk Gibson, speaking of, um, Kirk Gibson hit that home run against the A's um, in the 80, 87 World Series, I think. Um, against Dennis Eckersley, uh, Frank Tanana, Barry Larkin. So this is a Hall of Fame rookie card right here. You know, Barry Larkin, Cincinnati shortstop. Um, you know, it was interesting. I was just kind of looking at some all-star information the other day, and um, I'm sure he made the all-star team, but because he was... He was uh, Shortstop during that same stretch as Ozzie Smith, he was a, a rare all-star starter because Ozzie Smith always kind of held that mantle in the late 80s and into the, the 90s. Jim Acker, Dan Schatzen, Schatzitter. <laughs> it's a heck of a name and a heck of a mustache there. Heck of a Phillies uniform with those powder blue pants and... Phillies Maroon, uh, Dodgers Leaders. There's that little card. Uh, Danny Gladden, Mike Boddicker, John Crux. So I mentioned um, some of our notable rookies. Uh, Barry Larkin a second ago. Now here's a John Crux card. Not sure what the R-A-K initials stands for there um I'm sure we could google that see if you know feel free to put that in the comments um I'm sure that's someone's initials is some type of commemoration or memorial buddy being kalana bob walk and look at that pittsburgh cap uh uh, I think they call that a pillbox. I'm not sure, but the stripes on that, man, I'd love to see them wear that as a, a throwback. And I actually love the old Pirates logo, too. Um, that's just a really, really cool, cool logo, cool cap, um, cool mustache there as well for Bob Walk. This was the era of the mustache, I believe. Um, Bases on balls. Bob Walk had 241 walks uh, at this point as a pitcher. Um, 
Mickey Thatcher, Hatcher, Mickey Hatcher. Keith Hernandez, you know, Seinfeld fans will definitely recognize that name. You know, Mets fans obviously recognize that name. Uh, really good, really good baseball player and Scott Bankhead. So we got a Barry Larkin and John Crook rookie card from that pack. Still haven't gotten, you know, I really would love to get multiples. I will, I want to get one before I say I want to get multiples, but you know, I really want to get a uh, Bo Jackson, really want to get a Jose Canseco, you know, really want to get a Barry Bonds. Um, I mean, there's just so many good cards from this, from this year. Um, great time to be a baseball fan not necessarily a great time to start collecting baseball cars because they were just so overproduced and you know really nothing from this era has much value but you know it was still a fun hobby to have Fred Tolliver Leon Durham Greg Brock Jack Howell Dave Gumpert, Jim Sundberg, Roger Clemens. So this is a Roger Clemens in his third year, I guess. He was his rookie was rookie card was eighty five, I believe. So yeah, he had a little he had a stint in eighty four. So this would eighty seven would have actually been his fourth year of service, I guess. So, uh, but that's a. That's a cool card. Remember that card? Not a Hall of Famer because of the. I mean, the only reason he's being kept out is the, 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 you know, the PED issue. But you know, obviously, if you look at the numbers alone, he's a clear Hall of Fame caliber player. You know, all the Cy Young Award wins that he had and the strikeout records and uh, Bruce Hurst. Speaking of Roger Clemens, I think there's a special card here where he struck out 20 players, uh, which obviously Kerry Wood did as well. I think Max Scherzer has done that. I'm not sure. Mari Wills, not a Hall of Famer, uh, but that's still a cool card. So we're looking at 1962, so that would have been 25 years ago. Um, you want to read that? You know, Maybe you can pause that if you you're interested in what Topps thought was uh, important for in, in 1962. Eric Show made it to the big show here. Padres for several years. I love the backs of these cards. I mean, they're just they're just classic looking, you know. I mean, this was the era that, you know, I think Fleer had put some pictures on the backs of their cards at this point, but um, I'm not positive about that, but, you know, no pictures on the back of this card. This is the, you know, there's no coating, if you will, at all. This is just pure cardboard here. And um, just, just really a classic look. Um, Jeff Robinson. Daryl Porter with some, man, those are some 80s eyeglasses there. Uh, I guess contacts weren't really a thing back then or as popular. Mark Huseman. He, he, well, I think that's, I don't know how to say that. Rudy Law. Phil Necro. And Phil Necro is a Hall of Famer. And man, he looks like he's 60 years old right there throwing the ball. I mean, I don't know. I don't see how old he, I mean, he was born in... 1939, so 49, 59, 69, 79, 89. So he would have been all about 48 years old uh, at this point. So definitely, definitely pitched into um, <laughs> his late 40s, as did a rookie in this set, which hopefully I'll pull, uh, Jamie Moyer. 
Um, this was his rookie year, and he went from 1986 to 2012. So his career spanned um, 20, 27 seasons, probably comparable here to Phil Necro. Um, so that's kind of kind of interesting. You've got a, a late, a very aging star uh, versus, a, I wouldn't necessarily call Jamie Moyer a star, but certainly he had a very long career. Dane Eorg, very interesting name there. So, still no, um, no Bo, no Jose, um, no Mark McGuire's, no Barry Bonds yet. But uh, you know, these cards, even though the box showed a little wear uh, and tear, these. These cards appear to be in very, very good shape. I don't, you know, I don't see any edging or creases or, you know, corner corner wear. You know, the biggest thing here is the gum sticking to the backs of these cards, but I guess that'll happen after 30-something years. Gene Mock, Mock, Mock. Denny Walling, Dan Pasqua, Bob Shirley, Jim Rice. So there's another Hall of Famer. Spent, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if he finished his career with the Red Sox. Maybe he was a career Red Sox player. I'm not sure. But, you know, certainly to this point, he had been a career Red Sox player. Um, feel free to comment below and let us know what you know about Jim Rice, particularly if you're a Boston fan, but we'll set that card to the side. Oral Hershiser, you know, star of that World Series uh, we talked about earlier with Kurt Gibson. Uh, Gene Nelson, Jerry Willard, the dreaded checklist card. I wonder if there are people out there that collect checklists. I'm sure there are. Ken Howell. So here's the first future stars that I was talking about. So I really love the way that looks. This guy, Tim Piznarski, um, never necessarily made a name for himself in the big leagues that I know about, but the I know the Bo Jackson card has this designation and it's really just a classic looking card, so I'm hoping to get that bow card. Bill Dolly, Fernando Va Vene Valenzuela. So that's, um, you know, he was certainly a uh, exciting player. Um, Orioles leaders. Jim Deshays. Uh, so this was an 86 record breaker, uh, and I think this was the same that I was talking about with Roger Clemens. Maybe it was a record breaker card where he struck out 20, but this says most consecutive strikeouts start of game. So let's guess. Um, I'm going to say six. I'm going to say he struck out the first six to set a record. Fans first eight. Okay, so wow, that that is impressive, you know face eight <laughs> to face eight and to fan eight that's yeah that's really good modern standard by fanning the first eight many face the old mark of seven was set in 1986 so wow just the year before actually um actually this was in 19 because this is the 87 set obviously so this happened in 86 september of 86 in may uh <laughs> Joe Cali quickly got outdone by Jim Deshays because he had he had done uh, seven, so that's interesting. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, Tony Gwynn. So this is an All Star card. There's our first National League All Star. Um, you know, the late great Tony Gwynn here. Um, looks like he batted three twenty nine in eighty six, just behind. Uh, Tim Raines and Steve Sachs. Um, there's Keith Hernandez we talked about earlier. Mike Schmidt down at the bottom. Oh, he's a Hall of Famer. We're going to set that 
card side and Carney Lansford and that card that card got a little bend to it. So that's the first I can, I can feel that. It's not a crease, it's just kind of warped a little bit, but there's Carney Lansford. He's got the glasses and the mustache, so you know, he's got that GQ look there for sure for 1987. <laughs> Alright, so still looking for Bo. Still looking for Jose. Still looking for Barry Bonds. Still looking for uh, you know, Mark McGuire. Um, a lot of other good Hall of Famers to get here. Wouldn't mind getting a Pete Rose card. Um, let's see what we got here. You can tell there's a little bit of warping on these cards. So these are these are perfectly straight. These have kind of got a little bit of a, a warp to them, but you know, that's okay. Pat Perry, Joe Sambito, Tim Hewlett, Ted Power. Man, look at that curly, curly hair Ted had. Wally Backman, Candy Maldonado, that's a fun name to say. Mike Krakow, Kruko, Ray Knight, future manager, I believe, Devin White, Tom Pasoriak, Tom showing his age, got a little, got a little gray, there's a throwback, turn back the clock, uh, Roberto Clemente, 1972. Feel free to pause that if you kind of want to read about the 1972 year. Um, I'm not even, I haven't even been looking at like the centering. You can tell obviously that, that card's a little off center. Uh, you know, I guess the, the machines that cut these, I mean, obviously if you're collecting, you understand, you know, the centered cards are much more rare than, than these other cards. In fact, the card that they've got an example of there is very off center. 1972 card you can see much more of a white area over here so it's interesting that they used a very off-center card <laughs> on this very off-centered card uh, Royals leaders card there's another future stars Dave Magadan Magadan I'm not, Magadan I guess is how you say it. that's how I always said it I'm not sure but uh, Jose Cruz Mickey Brantley Jose Guzman, and Mark Salas. All right, so I really, really would feel good if I got some of these cards that I'm targeting just so that I <laughs> kind of get the monkey off, off my back. Uh, I see a Wade Boggs there. That's kind of cool. That's an all-star card, I believe. So uh, maybe this will be the, the, the pack where we... We get some of the some of our guys. Tony Pena. I remember Tony Pena mostly with the Cardinals, so this must have been. Well, he played quite a bit of years with the Pirates, so not sure when he got traded to the Cardinals, but Bob Forsh, Joe Ursulak. That Pittsburgh hat again. Uh, I bet they hated playing in those uniforms. I don't know, but that's it's it's just kind of cool. Dave Collins, George Brett. So man, that's a I really like George Brett. Was just kind of just a, a cool classic player. Um, something about those powder blue Kansas City uniforms, really cool. You know, obviously he's a Hall of Famer. 3,000 hits in his career. Had 2,095 hits at this point in his career. Um, could hit with power. Wasn't known as like necessarily a power hitter, but he had 209 career home runs at this point. Career high of 30 at this point in 1985. So that's cool. George Brett, another Hall of Famer right behind him here. Rich Goose Gossage with that... Uh, you know, I always remember that mustache. I guess that's a handlebar mustache. I'm 
I guess that's what you'd call that, but, you know, obviously he was a, um, uh, what, what I most remember him as is a relief pitcher. It looks like he had some, some starts throughout his career, but, um, you know, he was a Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame pitcher, Doug Drayback with the Yankees early in his career, um, Jose Uribe, John Henry Johnson, Tony Armas, Storm Davis, Brian Dayett, Diet, Scott Bradley, Darnell Coles, the Giants leader, and there is one of those cards, so now I'm feeling feeling better. Um, got a Barry Bonds, looks like there's a little bit of a printing issue there, a little bit of a mark, um, but, you know, this is early in his career, obviously, you can see how slim and slender he is, he was a great hitter even before, um, you know, arguably a better all-around player before he got into the the PEDs, um, but um, you can see he's got played for Hawaii. Looks like in 1986, so that's that's interesting. Um, but played 113 games in 1986, um, batted a lowly 223. But you know, PEDs are not. You know, obviously he's one of the best hitters of all time, uh, and then. Speaking of best hitters, there's um, Wade Boggs. Uh, he sported that 80s mustache throughout his career. Uh, batted 357 whew, in 1986. Tom Mattingly right up there too, 352. Um, you know, there's Jim Rice we talked about, Robin Yount. Um, so, Wade Boggs. Alright, so got a Barry Bonds. Still looking for Jose. Still looking for Bo Jackson. Uh, still got a lot of other Hall of Famers, um, such as, you know, Bo Blylove and Eddie Murray, you know, Reggie Jackson, Ricky Henderson. There's a lot of a lot of players, a lot of non-Hall of Fame players that I'd like to get. The Gerald Strawberries of the world, Blake Gooden. You know, you mentioned Pete Rose. So this is, there's just, this is just an exciting, exciting set to open. You see that, those, those cars have no, that, that was, it's like, you know, some of those packs got a little warped somehow. This one is a very crisp, clean pack. Luis Aquino, Aquino. There's the wild thing, Mitch Williams, Texas Rangers. You know, best known for probably his his uh, mistakes or errors, or uh, you know, gave up the home run to Joe Carter uh, to end either the ninety. Two or ninety-three World Series, can't remember, but you know he was one of those quote-unquote effectively wild pitchers. Joel Skinner, Ray Soff, Glenn Hoffman, Teddy Higuera, Higuera, Milwaukee Brewers pitcher, I believe. Yeah, he was up there in the league in strikeouts in nineteen eighty-six. Craig Nettles, Dave Lopes, 86 record breaker here, most stolen bases in a season by a 40-year-old. <laughs> so, 40-year-old Lopes uh, steals bases at a record pace. Uh, 25 stolen bases. So, okay. For a 40-year-old, that's not bad. I'm not quite 40 yet, and, you know, Definitely couldn't steal 25 bases in the major leagues. Cliff Speck. Um, 
Reds leader there featuring Pete Rose. Jerry Mumphrey, Scott Terry, Jody Davis, Kelly Gruber, Bob Tewksbury, John Shelby, and we got the All-Star and the base card here for Teddy Higuera. So, still a lot of packs to go, but still, still have a few cards that we want. Actually, a lot of cards that we want here. There's so many Hall of Famers in this, in this set. Like I said, these packs, you know, they stopped. You know, what people would do, you know, this was more of a safety or security feature. You know, they stopped using wax. I think Top stopped using wax in was it 1990 was their last year to use wax. Um, you know, people would um, you know, they'd be very careful, kind of like what I'm doing when I'm opening these, and then they would, you know, sort through the cards, fill it back up with commons, and then, um, you know, somehow reseal these with a little bit of uh, heat. Uh, and so, you know, Tops got wise to that, and for consume for the for protection from the consumer, they stopped using the wax cards, but or the, the wax packs. But again, there's something a little nostalgic nostalgic about the um, the wax packs. So we got a nice nice clean pack right here. All right, so. Ed Correa, Correa probably, Jerry Reed, Frank Pastor, Rick Roden, Bill Madlock, Roy Lee Jack, excuse me, Roy Lee Jackson, Steve Ontiveros, Scott Geraltz. Floyd Bannister, Jim Beatty, Ron Oster, Mike Lacoste. We don't get something soon. This is going to be a bad pack. Billy Sample, Hubie Brooks. Well, lo and behold, next to last card, arguably one of the best third baseman of all time, if not the best. Mike Schmidt, um, how many home runs does he have at this point? 495 career home runs at this point. Obviously, he's a member of the 500 Home Run Club. Um, I'm sure he was a first ballot Hall of Famer. Mike Schmidt, I believe it's Mike Michael Jack Schmidt, I think is his full name. Uh, Dickie Knowles and Larry Parrish. So it's a cool Mike Schmidt card. Um, like I said, I, those these cards are just they just have a classic look to them. Um, you can see they've got you know a little bit of shine there. The backs, you know, there's. There's no gloss, no nothing on there. Um, looks like he played a little first base too, Schmidt. I didn't realize that, but I'm sure he did occasionally. Um, Mike lists, it was cool, they would always give you something, well, not always, but they gave you a little tidbit here. Mike lists electric t trains among his hobbies. So that is cool. Um, and I always liked the cards that, would put the logo on the card as well. You know, something something really cool is, you know, with the Tops logo was very uh, not prominent, which I enjoy. And I think that's good. Uh, whereas the team logo is much more prominent. Um, I just think that gives cards more appeal. All right, so this, for me, this is just a great, 
you know, design card. You know, nothing like today's cards. You know, today's cards are, you know, electric and you know, highly glossy and, you know, the refractors and, you know, and, you know there's something to be said for those. Those cards are really cool too. Uh, but these are just kind of, just very, very classic. Lucky here. Still haven't got a Cal Ripken either. I'd like to get a Cal Ripken. So there's a little bit of a little bit of warping here. Where the cards have been sitting in over time. R.J. Reynolds, Jimmy Key, Chris Welch, Reed Nichols, Bryn Smith, Jeff Deadman. Mike Davis. Everybody's wearing these big, huge glasses. I had a pair of glasses like this <laughs> in like fourth grade until I got contacts in like sixth or seventh grade. Ricky Wright. Will Clark. So, uh, you know, this is kind of cool. Um, there's a cow right behind him. Um, you know, this is I believe this is considered his rookie card. The Barry Bonds card is considered his rookie card. The Bo Jackson card is considered his rookie card. But that, you know, I believe these guys also had, um, I guess what the term was, extended rookie card, which uh, you know, I believe that term is used for a card that was the first card but was not in the base set. So the 1986 Topps cards did not feature you know, Will Clark or Barry Bonds or Bo Jackson, um, but they did feature um, in the Topps traded set. Uh, and so I think the term they used was um, XRC, and that's, that's what you would read in Beckett, at least I remember, uh, an extended rookie card with their with their normal RC or rookie card uh, in, the, in the next um, base set. So they were obviously in the base set here. Uh, so Will Clark, Will Clark here, he made 1984 U.S. Olympic team and was two-time NCAA All-American at Mississippi State. I know he played at Mississippi State along with um, another first baseman, Rafael Palmero, who has Hall of Fame numbers, but um, uh, similar to Clements and Bonds, he's got the stain of... PEDs, um, so, you know, he's got the, he's, Rafael Palmero, a member of the 3000 Hit Club and the 500 Home Run Club, uh, which, you know, when I was growing up, that was just, you know, that was, you're, you're a surefire Hall of Famer, I mean, there's no way they keep you out if you eclipse either of those, uh, he's eclipsed both, but very likely uh, will not be a Hall of Famer, at least for any time soon, Cal Ripken, favorite players growing up uh, you can you can look at those games there 160 162 162 161 162 not sure about that 161 I bet in 1985 I bet there was a rain out that wasn't critical for the playoffs and so they never made it up because they didn't play that team again to have a doubleheader who knows you know the story behind that 160, 161 game season there in 1985. Let us know, because I know he didn't sit out a game. Um, Urbano Lugo, John Steffaro, Ernie Camacho, sporting the glasses and the mustache there, Gary Gaetti. Kevin Mitchell. So this is a Kevin Mitchell rookie uh, that I was talking about earlier. Um, Kevin Mitchell played with the Mets, um, spent some time with the Giants, I believe. I remember him catching that foul ball barehanded. Um, but a pretty good baseball player for, for a short amount of time. Roger Clemens, all-star. So 
I'm guessing he's going to have strikeouts in the back of this. And I bet he finished second behind Nolan Ryan. Let's see. Now we're going to see victories. And he was number one in victories. 24 victories. Um, which is obviously quite impressive. Retired all nine men he faced to earn win and games MVP award in All-Star Game in 1986. So, cool little tidbit there. Roger Clemens. And uh, Scott McGregor. We're not even quite halfway yet, so uh, no need to panic for Jose or Bo, but you know, I really, really want those. Dustin has the autograph on me, and I don't really buy the modern stuff. Um, Although, man, that, that Stadium Club product, and again, Dustin's going to be uploading a video on that soon, but that Stadium Club is really cool. The photography is awesome. They've got some cards of older players. Like I said, obviously, the Bo Jackson. I saw Jose Canseco online. Um, so they're adding something there for, I guess, some of us older collectors who really like, you know, this era. Um, and um, like I said, Dustin actually pulled a... Um, I think it's a chrome uh, refractor, like this card. You can see this gun. This gun's kind of, I don't know if that's mold. I'm not sure what that is. There's, 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 some, there's some powder staining there. Um, Bob, on this Bob Brindley card, future manager. There we go. Let me get it off. All right, let's see here. Yeah, got some bowing there. Uh, maybe we get Bo in this Bode pack. Ozzy Virgil, Lance Parrish, Carl Willis. I mean, Carl just looks kind of angry there. Just like take my picture. Let me, let me get on with this. Getting his chest hair is getting up onto his neck there. Just look at that baseball cap high on his head. <laughs> uh, he's just, he's all business there. Mike Morgan. Wayne Krenchicki. I don't recognize Wayne's name, although he played like he had quite a quite a long career. Maybe as a utility guy, though, just 101 games is his most games at that point. Um, Dan Petrie, Todd Worrell, or Worrell, I'm not sure. I think I always call, called him Worrell. That guy's cards back in the day. Let the league in saves. 36. Uh, Ed Correa. Jerry Reed. Ron Guidry. Uh, Ron Guidry had a, well, he had a pretty good career. Look, he had a, at this point, he had two 20-game seasons, including in, look at that, 1978 season. He was 25-3 and three with a 174 ERA. I mean, I have to imagine he won the Cy Young that year, unless there was another guy that just really killed it, which was possible. But 25-3, and three, that's impressive. Kurt Ford, Juan Espino. Ron Darling had some good years. Brett Saberhagen had some good years. There's Greg's older brother, I believe, Mike Maddox. Um, no little trivia for Mike Maddox. Instead, we had an on this date. Um, Jim Bunning, no hitter. So Mike Maddox, uh, Pete O'Brien, and Bob Brindley, who, and Bob, Bob hasn't aged in about, 30 years. I mean, he he looks looks pretty much the same. All right. This gun was broken in the pack. I think that was our first broken piece of gum you know, I've heard online you know that you can buy a lot of the nobody's buying I don't, I don't imagine 
anybody's repacking these 87 tops cards because there's just not any value but um, obviously you can buy some some more vintage packs online you know say a 19 you know you know 1971 pack of cards or whatever particular year and um, you know one of the signs that it may be a repacked card a repacked pack uh, where I was talking about where people put the commons and reseal it is the if the gum is broken, you can also apparently tell with the way the spine of the uh, pack looks on a repacked uh, pack. Um, you know, I don't think I would buy any packs online unless it's from a very, very trusted seller. Um, I know some of those packs can be certified uh, by PSA or some other certification, but I would just say buyer beware on a lot of a lot of that old stuff, Tom Lawless, Juan Agosto. So there's a card that I was looking for, a non-Hall of Famer in Dwight Gooden, but, you know, one of the most exciting players as a kid back in the day, you know, that 1985 season, 24-4 and four with a 1-5-3 ERA. 1-5-3, I mean... Man, with 268 strikeouts, 300 strikeouts. Oh, that was in the minors, though. But still, that's unbelievable, too. <laughs> um, yeah, Dwight was, you know, he was just a, a great pitcher. Uh, I think he could have kept his off-field uh, habits in order. Uh, you know, he probably would, would be a Hall of Famer. Sammy Khalifa. Bill Garner, future manager here. Bill Kruger. That card, you can tell. I don't know if you can tell. You can probably tell that the coloring of that card is a little different than the others. Some kind of printing issue there, I'm assuming. But uh, Rafael Santana, you can tell it's a little lighter for, for whatever reason. Uh, Rick Honeycutt. Terry Francona, another future manager. Steve Psycho Lions, John Butcher, Andy Hawkins, Joel Youngblood, Steve Bedrosian, Tom Brookins, and Mark Portugal. All right, so we're still looking for, you know, Still looking for Bo. We're still looking for Jose. We're still looking for Mark McGuire. Still looking for uh, a lot of these cards. I may stop and go through my list here in a second. After we get maybe about halfway through, but that's a good, that's a good sign. We get Cal Ripken here uh, right off the bat. It's actually got a little bit of stain, even though the gum's not there. You can probably see that little staining from the actual wax pack seal itself um nothing you can do about that like i said i think those cards should be, <laughs> be more valuable um just if nothing else they're just more unique because there are just so many of these cards available I've, i mean you know i i don't think they really released their production numbers but you know there's millions upon millions upon millions you know I, I don't know i've heard five million i've heard 10 million but you know there's you know millions of each of these cards uh, out there uh russ mormon dave rigetti mel hall randy myers junior ortiz vita blue so he is not a hall of famer but I had him on my list. Um, he had 209 career wins at this point, 3.26 ERA. I know he did not pitch much longer. Um, started his career there in 1969 with the A's. Um, but, you know kind of cool to get a player that played in the late 60s in this 1987 um, pack. I don't know much.
much about his career, but um, let me research that. If you want to tell us a little bit about Vita Blue, uh, please do so. If you know any trivia or tidbits about his career, Lee Lacey, Frank Pastor, Rick Roden again, Bill Madlock again, Roy Lee Jackson again, uh, Steve Ontiveros, Scott Geralts, Floyd Bannister, uh, there's another Will Clark, and another Cal Ripken. So, starting to get into some duplicates of our, uh, some of our cards that we were even targeting. You know, this would probably, you know, you could probably buy two boxes of this and hand collate a set. You know, there's 792 cards in the set. 612 cards in one of these wax boxes. Um, if you bought two boxes, which, you know, you could probably buy two boxes for close to 20 bucks. If you just want to have the fun of, you know, hand collating a set of 87 tops. I mean, you, you know, I don't know what the odds are. The odds are you may actually still be random cards shy of a full set um, but you'd be really close if not completing the set within um, two boxes of these uh, these cards or these these um, these boxes that you can get really really cheaply um, Jeff Reed Bob Ojeda Lou Whitaker, who a lot believe should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, 281 career hitter at this point. Um, you know, just shy of 100 career stolen bases, 93 home runs. Um, that's kind of a good, good but not great player, which is probably why he's not in the Hall of Fame. Um, I would probably put him in that category as good but not great. So I like to keep the Hall of Fame for the, the greatest of the great. Dave Rigetti, uh, Jerry Roos, Steve Carlton. So he's, um, you know, obviously one of the greatest uh, left-handed pitchers of all time. Um I kind of remember him most with the Phillies. Looks like he started his career with the Cardinals, Phillies, short stint with the Giants, White Sox. Um, you know, at this point in his career, he had 323 wins, um, 3.11 career ERA at this point. So, and this was very late in his career. Uh, not sure how many more years he pitched, but. Um, that's cool. Um, a couple of random guys got, got to have their pictures on a baseball card, too. I wonder if they even know that. Uh, but that is a cool. Uh, Al Polito, Brian Downing, Steve Fire Ovid. It's a very unique name. I don't really, really remember much about Steve. Um, that Trident logo of the Mariners. That's a very uh, throwback uh, style. Alex Trevino, John Candelaria, Bill Gullickson, 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 uh, Bob Kipper, Bob Sebra, Sabra, Kevin Bass. Enos Cabell Cobble. All right, so let's see. We're about halfway through. Let's see. We're still missing uh, from from what I want. Let's see. We're, we're missing a Gary Carter, Lee Smith, Burt Blylevin, Tim Raines, Eddie Murray. Um, can't remember if I've. Yeah, I think we've gotten a Wade Boggs. I'm missing my Bo Jackson, Pete Rose, Reggie Jackson, Ricky Henderson. Um, Andre Dawson, Mark McGuire, um, Kirby Puckett, um, Daryl Strawberry, Dennis Eckersley, Don Mattingly, 
Uh, there's a lot of all-star cards here that I'd like to get. Jose Canseco, Rafael Palmero, uh, Ryan Sandberg, Alan Trem Trammell or Trammell, um, Paul Molitor, Ozzy Smith, Carlton Fisk, Nolan Ryan, obviously Dave Winfield, Harold Baines, Robin Yount. Um, so we've still got a, a lot of a lot of home uh, Hall of Fame and and otherwise very good players and possibilities here as we're probably getting close to halfway through. Um, let's see if we start getting lucky with some of these now that I named them all. That was a very good clean pack. Although that I do see an edging. That's our first. That's the first one I've noticed here. Got a. You see these two cards here, you can kind of see the edges are, uh, they got a little wear on them over the years, but it doesn't look like either of those are um, really valuable. None of these are valuable, but those aren't guys that I was targeting. Phil Bradley, Lenny Dykstra, back with the Mets, Mike Lavalier. Uh, so there we go. Named him and we got him. Daryl Strawberry. Um, along with Dwight Gooden, the, you know, they made the, they helped make the Mets really fun to watch, um, for sure. Um, very similar to Dwight Gooden in the sense that, you know, so much talent, he could have been in the Hall of Fame um, had he just kind of been able to keep his personal life uh, uh, going in the right direction. Don Slaw, Dave Dravecki, Kevin Romine, Romine, that card looks very similar to the to the Roger Clemens card as far as the layout and format. Um, Boston, another Boston player, so maybe, maybe the photographer that they sent to do the Boston players, that was his preferred Preferred method of taking photographs, Don Ace, I guess. I mean, he's got one of those classic mustaches. Looks kind of older. Um, kind of got a fro coming out of the bottom of that cap there. Uh, huh. Don Ace. Dale Moharseek? Mohar I'm not sure how you say that one. Richard Dotson, Lee Mazzilli, I think he may have been a future manager, I'm not sure, Ron Roenick, Gary Carter, so there's a Hall of Fame player, That's the all-star card, um, game-winning RBIs, and that would be a very underrated stat there, it's kind of a very, eh, maybe a sabermetric type of stat, but game-winning RBIs, 16, so, tells you how clutch the kid was Tom Candiotti. Uh, I think maybe Tom Candiotti, maybe maybe through a, a knuckler. Dave Von Olin, Juan Bonilla. I'm not sure if you know about Tom Candiotti. Feel free to comment. I believe he was. I believe he had a knuckle bar in his repertoire, though. Scott Fletcher, Bob Stanley, Eddie Milner, Kurt Young, Bill Allman, Hal McRae, his son would go on to play, I think Brian McRae, uh, Astros leader, leaders, uh, Ed Hearn, there's the dreaded manager card, John McNamara, Mike Moore, Mike Laga. Yeah, I don't know. That, that almost looks airbrushed to me. The cap and the pink shirt. I don't know. Let's see. No, he played with the Cardinals in 86, so there shouldn't have been a need to airbrush that. But that, uh, that card just looks a little funny for some reason. 
Charlie Kerfeld, Randy Neiman, Jesse Orozco, Kelly Downs, Alejandro Pena, and Vern Rule. That was a that was a whiff of a pack. It's probably our most disappointing pack thus far. I don't think I got anything out of that pack. Which means, the law of averages, maybe this one's going to be stuff full of players we're targeting. This is a nice clean pack here. Billy Sample. Hubie Brooks. There's another... Mike Schmidt card. Looks very, looks very non-assuming, very relaxed up there. I don't know, doesn't look like a, a, a batting stance that would be necessarily taught nowadays. No, not much bend to his knees, but you know, who's gonna tell Mike Schmidt how to, how to stand? Dickie Knowles, Lance Parrish, Danny Cox, Dwight Lowry, Marty Barrett, Gary Templeton, Otis Nixon, Kent Herbeck, Herbeck, I should say. So, gosh, I think this may be the very first one. This this is what we were talking about with the um, the Tops um, All Star Rookie Trophy uh, designation. Uh, I think this was the first time they've used that since 1978, I believe. Um, that's right, 1978. So this was a Danny Tartable who went on, I best know him for the Yankees, playing with the Yankees. Um, and, uh, and I really best know him for uh, being in a Seinfeld episode. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, that's it's really cool. I'm sure that was a, quite an honor to get that to get that uh, designation. Tops All-Star Rookie. Indians leader, Jeff Calhoun. Garth Eorg. Juan Nieves. Craig McMurtry. So we got a Schmidt out of that card. That was a repeat. Uh, so starting to get we're probably about, we're probably halfway, maybe a little over halfway, can't really tell, but um, I'm hoping to get, uh, get those cards. If not, we may have to spend another nine fifty. Um, and I'm not doing this to see if we've got any inserts. I'm just kind of showing you that this was a nice, solid pack. Uh, although I'm sure if these were modern cards, we'd get a little excited for that little tint of white there, but that's obviously just this little generic mail-in card. Um, Alright, so Dave Johnson, manager. Whitey Herzog. Two managers in a row. Bob Boone. His Sons would go on to play. Brett and Aaron Boone. Dwight Evans. Denny Martinez. Or Dennis Martinez. Mike Brown. Steve Balboni. Balboni is a fun name, baseball name to say. Carl Best. Um, yeah, kind of a fun picture for old Carl there. Pete Incaviglia. So there we got another those tops all-star rookies. Um, Pete, uh, she went on to play for a lot of teams. I know he played for the Cubs some. Uh, I believe he did, at least Don Schultz. Uh, so here's a new card for us. Ricky Henderson, still with the Yankees. This would have been, um, uh, he was with the A's from like 79 to 84 there. Spent some time with the Yankees and then uh, goes back to the A's. I'm not sure exactly when he goes back to the A's, but um, Ricky Henderson, I know at some point, probably still does, I'm sure he still does, holds the all-time record for 
leadoff home runs. Um, you know, he could hit with um, hit with power uh, when he wanted to, uh, not prolifically or anything, but uh, he definitely had some some pop to his bat. Scott Nelson, Scott Bales, uh, Dwight Evans, earliest home run season. So I wonder what that means. Let's see. Does that mean he was the leadoff hitter that hit a home run? I'm not sure. Um, Dewey connects on first offering of the campaign. Dewey must be his nickname. Red Sox leadoff batter Dwight Evans hits year's first pitch for home run. The earliest home run in history. Well, there you go. That's... That's pretty cool. That's the way you want to start your season off. <laughs> With a home run. Mike Marshall. Uh, Cecil Cooper. Bob Rich. Bob was definitely going with that 70s, 80s look there. That thick, thick mustache. <clears throat> This feels like a substantial pack here. Well sealed. Let's, this is the pack. We're going to get both a Jose and a bow in here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Nice and straight. I can tell. That was just that was felt very solid. And that gun. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Let's see here. Reed Nichols, Bryn Smith, Jeff Dedman, Mike Davis, Ricky Wright, Jim Beatty, Ron Oster, Mike Lacoste, Gary Redis or Redis, Dennis Lamp, Jackie Gutierrez. Oh, so there's a nice one. Ryan Sandberg. Looks like he's reaching out for a, a pitch on the outside. Maybe that's a hit and run. Maybe he's just reaching for the ball. Looks like he's going to make contact or has made contact. Can't tell if that ball is coming or going, but um, that's a cool, cool little action shot. Um, Ryan once co authored a book entitled Rhino. Okay, wonder if you can find that on Amazon. Maybe, maybe somebody should post a post the buy it now link uh, to the Amazon book, co-authored by Ryan Sandberg, Kent Tikolvi, Tikolvi. Not sure how you say his name. Mike Trujillo, Terry Kennedy. Dave Winfield. So at least we've got two Hall of Famers in this pack. Ryan Sandberg and Dave Winfield. Um, Mr. May, <laughs> as designated by Steinbrenner. Um, went on to win a World Series with the Blue Jays, if I, if I remember correctly. Dave Winfield and Bud Black. So this really is kind of fun. Um, I'm enjoying this. This is, like I said, this is this is well worth nine dollars for me. You know, you can go to the movies and see um, go to the movies and see a movie for ten bucks, uh, or we can spend an hour here um, reliving our childhood. And I think you guys kind of see who we've got here on the back. I don't think there's any, well, you, there's a, I can see some wax from the gloss. Let me get this, get the light on it just right. But uh, got a little Jose finally. Um, so that is really cool. Um, let's see what else we get in this pack here. Keith Hernandez. Keith Hernandez. Yeah, so Keith Hernandez. That's one magic loogie. If you don't get that reference, just Google it. Jeffrey Leonard. 
Jeff Reardon, Jose Okendo, Roquendo, uh, Larry Sheets, Al Nipper, again with that similar Boston look into the distance here guy. So that's three Boston players taken with that exact same look. So, yeah, whoever whoever they sent up to Boston to take pictures just kind of thought, yeah, we're just going to kind of do these little profile, semi-profile shots and call it a day. Vince Coleman, Damasco Garcia, Bill Mooneyham, Tom Herr, Bob Melvin, Gary Lucas, Eric Davis. I always liked Eric Davis growing up, too. Uh, he just looked like a baseball player. Pat Corrales. Dan Quisenberry. And it looks like the only thing we got in this whole pack was on the back. But that is the Jose Canseco card. That's the Topps All-Star Rookie uh Insignia designation there. Um, you know, this was a, you know, this was a hot card. Jose Canseco was one of the hottest players to watch. I mean, this was such a fun time to watch baseball. You know, Jose Canseco, Daryl Strawberry, um, Dwight Good, and Roger Clemens. You know, Barry Bonds was exciting. I mean, there were just so many exciting players to watch during this time. Um, a lot of great moments in baseball during this era. And we're trying to show some of those great moments. Uh, or I'm trying to show some of those on our, on the intro videos to, uh, to my videos. Um, we're going to set that to the side. Um, so we've got one half of the Bash Brothers so far. I can see that other, I can see the Mark McGuire card in my mind. I know he is at bat, and you see his backside. Um, he's standing in the batter's box. Um, those Oakland unis are very, very unique and distinguishable. I mean, there's no other teams that are yellow and green so um, that's just a just a cool card that was a card that I had I still have as a kid I've got this like I said I've got this set uh, but outside of this set I don't think I ever had this card um, same thing with the Bo Jackson you know I think I just had the single copy that was included in my binder set of uh, the full set so uh, there's another Dwight Gooden. That card looks perfectly centered. Jose was kind of off, but that, that Dwight Gooden card looks really centered. I don't know. There's probably a printing. I see that little printing issue there. But, you know, again, I'm not sending these <laughs> these 25 cent cards off to PSA. Um, it's just fun. Opening Sammy Khalifa again, Phil Garner again, Bill Kruger again, and a lot of duplicates. Rafael Santana, um, R.J. Reynolds. R.J. Reynolds, is that not the name of a cigarette company? <laughs> Pretty sure it is. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of a trivia there. If you know, let us know. But I believe R.J. Reynolds is a, a major... Uh, Corporate Cigarette Company, Jimmy Key, Chris Welsh, Dave O'Leeper, Frank DePino, Pirates Leaders, Tracy Jones, Shane Raleigh, Corey Snyder there again with the uh, All-Star designation. Like he's sporting blonde mustache with a blonde mullet. Uh, very 80s as well there from Corey. Domingo Ramos. Dwayne Ward. And Toronto Blue Jays leaders. So got a Dwight Gooden in that pack. Still need my Bo Jackson future stars. 
Still looking for Mark McGuire. Still lots of other Hall of Famers to get. So we've got about maybe I don't know. 15, 16, 17, 18 more packs there. I know, again, this is going to be a long video, but, you know, this is, um, we're just going down memory lane here. Terry Forster, Dwight Evans, Denny Martinez, Jeff Lottie, George Bamberger, oh, that's a baseball name, Jerry Royster, Lawless, Juan Augusto, Rick Manning, Tony Bernazard, Bruce Suter. So there's a Hall of Famer. That's a new one. Bruce with the Braves at this point in his career. Um, you know, Hall of Fame. Uh, relief pitcher. Um, honestly, don't know a little ton about Bruce Suter's career, but I do know that he is uh, in the Hall of Fame. Jeff Russell, Mike Heath, Rich Gedman, Luis Aguayo, Ken Phelps, and Bob McClure. Oh, so this is a nice one. We've got a little bit of a... Oh, it came right off. Although I can feel there's some staining there from that wax. But uh, we've got a Nolan Ryan card here. So that's going to be cool. I'm not sure who he's with at this point. Looks like maybe the Astros. At least that's who he was with in, in 86. So, um, always like the tops because they showed the... You know, I, I believe they typically showed all of the... Um, the years uh, played their their total, you know, their, the history of their career. I think Donruss maybe showed the last five years or so. Recent, recent uh, experience, I believe, is what they called it. Um, you know, no one with 4,277 strikeouts at this point in his career. Um, I mean, even... This is 1987. I mean, he would pitch another, what, five or six years? I'm not sure exactly when he retired. It was the early 90s, I know. Um, apparently, he was aging at this point. So, we had a Phil Necro earlier. Um, here's Phil's brother, Joe uh, Necro, who uh, did not make the Hall of Fame, uh, but had similar... Um, longevity as his brother he was started here in 1967 with the Cubs um, so, uh, Willie Upshaw Danny Gladden Mike Boddicker Mike Eastler Jim Leland you know this is as the Pirates are about to make their run made the World Series, but had some great teams. Vance Law, Mickey Hatcher, Cubs leaders. That is not Mike Trout there. I'm not sure who that is, but Ron Say there. Spike Owen, Andres Galarraga, the big cat, Bobby Meacham, Tim Stoddard, Dave Schmidt, Yankees leaders, another manager card, and like I said, there's our Nolan Ryan with the Houston Astros, you know, prolific power pitcher, Nolan Ryan through seven career no-hitters, um, I mean, that's 
that's actually a very amazing fact. You know, you think about how many really good pitchers do not have no hitters. Um, Greg Maddox has an example. I don't believe he had a no hitter, but um, and and I think Greg Maddox is the the better pitcher, you know, than than Nolan Ryan. But you know, it just kind of shows different. Um, the different repertoires, you know, Greg Maddox, obviously a more crafty, uh, you know, hit his spots kind of pitcher who just had great control. No, Ryan just kind of would blow it past you. Uh, not to say that he didn't work on his craft, but, um, there we go. but definitely the power pitchers are, are typically the ones that can kind of dominate games a little more. Think of your Randy Johnsons, Nolan Ryans, <clears throat> Dan Plezak, Bob Kearney, Bob James, Mariners leaders, Chris Brown, Dennis Oil Can Boyd, you know, we definitely need the oil can there. Daryl Evans, Tom O'Malley, Dennis Rasmussen, Henry Cotto, Juan Beniquez, Mark Bailey, Chet Lemon, Mike Flanagan, Ruben Sierra, youngest player to switch hit home runs in a game. Let's say 23. Uh, he won't turn 21 until October, so he was 20 years old when he did that. Oh, that's impressive. And Willie Randolph. Yeah, that was kind of a weak pack. Um, not as weak as that earlier weak pack. But, yeah, not a very good pack. All right. Bo knows, let's get this one. Bo knows that he is in this pack. Maybe we can get a Mark McGuire. A Dave Parker all-star here. You know, Dave Parker, I don't know how Dave Parker's not in the Hall of Fame. If you look at his career numbers, go to baseballreference.com, look at Dave Parker's career numbers and see if you can make an argument to keep him out of the Hall of Fame. I, you know, I don't know. I, I just seems like a Hall of Fame career to me. Definitely more worthy than a Lou Whitaker. Um, Rob Woodward. Gary Carter. So there's a Gary Carter base set card, not the all-star card, but he was... Uh, uh, Hall of Famer. He has since passed away at a, a young age, but uh, that's cool to get that card. Tom Waddell, Steve Crawford, Vince Coleman again, Damasco Garcia, Pat Tabler, Tabler, Mickey Tettleton, Expos Leaders. Tony Walker, Checklist, Jeff Huron, Huron, George Frazier, Keith Atherton, Greg Gross, Rick Leach, and there's Dave Parker that I was talking about. Spent a lot of time with the, uh, I think he was part of the those early 80s, late 70s, early 80s pirate teams. Um, like I said, he just had a very, very good career. I would, I, I would call it better than solid. Uh, he's, he should have strong consideration. Now oh, there's the rest of those. Some of that gum was missing, but all right. So here we go, Mickey. 
And we're getting, starting to get into m multiple, multiple duplicates. M Mickey Hatcher again. Keith Hernandez again. Scott Bankhead again. Rob Woodward. There's another Gary Carter. Tom Waddell. Steve Crawford. Vince Coleman. Floyd Rayford. Uh, Willie Wilson. George Hendrick. Roger Craig. Charlie Moore. Dave Kingman. John Morris. Bruce Hurst. And Maury Wills again. So, yeah, we're starting to get a little low. Still have, still have faith. Pack may have a little, little dinging on the corner. We'll see. Tommy John. Not everybody has a surgery named after him, so that would be what he is uh, most known for. I would have to say. Tommy John surgery. Masco, Garcia, Pat Tabler, Tabler, Mickey Tettleton again, Terry Forster, Dwight Evans, Dennis Martinez, Jeff Abati, George Bamberger, Dave Bergman, Bill Campbell, Tom Brunanski, Chuck Finley, George Bell, decent players there, Jim Traver, 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 Chico Walker, Johnny Ray, and there I said Tommy John. So this was a very weak pack there, but uh, there he is on the disabled list in uh, 1975. So I would have to assume that's the year that he had that famous surgery. If I recall, it probably was a very experimental surgery for the time, I'm assuming. Otherwise, I don't think it would necessarily be named after him. I think they take, they, I'm not even sure, but I think they take a ligament uh, maybe from another part of your body and use it in your, in your elbow or shoulder one. Bert Blylevin, elbow, I think. Oh, so there's Bert, Hall of Famer. Um, that's a new one, I believe. We haven't got that one yet. Jay Tibbs. Milt Thompson. Jim Presley. T.R. Bryden. Tony Fernandez. Jim Gantner. Jim Slayton. John Cerruti. Earl Weaver. Very well-known manager. Jorge Orta. There's Jamie Moyer that we talked about. Kind of his career kind of bookends with um, Phil Negroes that we talked about a little earlier. This is his rookie card. Um, interesting tidbit I learned uh, listening to this very cool podcast, uh, Wax Ecstatic. Uh, they talk a lot about the quote-unquote junk era cards, and Jamie Moyer is married to uh, Digger Phelps's daughter, uh, and they were uh, connected by none other than Harry Carey, um, Ed Olwine, Eddie Murray. So that's cool. I'm glad we got this Eddie Murray card. Eddie sporting those great 80s glasses as well. Um that cool Baltimore uh, uniform there. Also a member of the, I believe Eddie's a member of the 3,000 hit 500 home run club, Andre Thornton. And there's that Roger Clemens record breaker card, most strikeouts in a nine inning game. And he did strike out 20. Uh, so that's kind of a cool, I believe that's the number one it is, number one card of the set. And then Nick Williams, another manager card. All 
All right, so <clears throat> I'm starting to get a little worried that we're not going to get our Bo Jackson card. Not, not a big deal, really. I mean, we could, <laughs> you can go on eBay and get a Bo Jackson rookie card for probably, you know, it, with shipping, you can probably get it for three bucks, I'd imagine, close to it. Um, in fact, I think I've, I have ordered a set of the 1986 Topps Traded box that I'll I'll break on here at some point. Um, it's the set, so there's not any um, curiosity of who you're going to get. You know who you're pulling, but there, like I said, there is the Barry Bonds, there's the Jose Canseco, and there's a um, uh, Bo Jackson, XRC, Foral Hershiser, Gene Nelson, Jerry Willard, Danny Gladden, Mike Boddicker, John Crook. There's another John Crook. Uh, rookie Buddy Biancola, Biancola. Bob Walk again. Eric Show again. Jeff Robinson. Daryl Porter. Mark Weisman. Rudy Law. Phil Necro again. Very aging. Phil Necro, Dane Eorg, Devin White, and Tom Passior. I think that may have been a whole pack of duplicates. <laughs> but not sure. Looks like we've got eight packs left, so. We got our first Don Mattingly here. Looks like it's an all-star Don Mattingly. Like he led the league in hits this particular year. All right, here we go. Ron Davis, Twins leaders. Gene Walter. Ian Alandro, and look, looky here, lo and behold, we finally got it there, Bo Jackson, that looks like to be a spring training with a chain link fence there, don't, don't think there were any major league fields with a chain link, um, that's just a cool looking card, uh, you know, Bo was just one of the most exciting players to watch. I can still remember, I can't remember what All-Star game it was. It could have been 87, 88, 89, 90, obviously one of the years that he was playing and uh, won the MVP. Pretty sure he had a bomb to center field in that game. Uh, that's a, you know, that's a Pretty well centered. I think it's a little off center. Uh, looks like pitcher's leaning to the left a little bit, but uh, still, corners look good. Good little card to add to to the collection. So glad we pulled that. Get that monkey off my shoulder. So now we can just see who else we get. Still looking for a McGuire, Steve Lake, Rick Sutcliffe, Tigers leaders. So there's that Don Mattingly card it's on the bottom of the pack. Uh, led the league in hits, 238. A lot of good names on there. Kirby Puckett, Wade Boggs, Jim Rice, Cal Ripken. John Reynolds, Tom, Tim Loudner, Glenn Davis, that's not Big Baby Cliff Davis. Jim Pank Pankovitz. Mike Young. Rob Deere. Doug DeSenses. DeSenses, I believe. And Reggie Williams. So, that pack came through. Finally got a Bo Jackson. We got a Don Mattingly. Um... Hopefully we're not done yet. We've got an Earl Weaver.
card there on the back. Got a, there's a Hall of Fame uh, gum uh, stain card we're going to have, Jim Rice. Those cards, that, that gun's probably safe to eat. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, one of them did look a little, a little questionable. Um, Rich Gossage, another Hall of Famer. We've already had him, obviously. Uh, Doug Drayback, most known for the pitching for the Pirates. Um, uh, another famous. Uh, Part of the Seinfeld episode where Steinbrenner is defending the Doug Drabeck trade. Um, I think he was saying how people were telling me Doug Phelps, Doug Phelps. Um, Jose Uribe, Gene Mock, 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 Denny Walling, Dan Pasqua, Bob Shirley. There's our Jim Rice uh, gum stained card. Jim Rice Hall of Famer. Uh, Roberto Clemente, Hall of Famer, obviously. Died in a plane crash, providing um, relief to an earthquake, I believe. Kansas City Royals leaders, Dave Magadan, Magadan, Jose Cruz, Mickey Brantley, Jose Guzman, Mark Silas, John Cerruti, Earl Weaver. Earl Weaver is known for arguing with umps, I, if I remember correctly. These cards are just fun to open, you know. Well, if you if you want ten dollars of entertainment, you can just kind of stay up late one night or show your kids something from your childhood. It's well worth it. Mark Gubixa, Roger McDowell. Um, he was the one with the magic loogie. Earlier, Chris Cotterola, Cotteroli, John Tudor, Dan Billardello, Dave Palmer, Jose Rijo. So that's interesting. I had no idea Jose Rijo started with the A's. I'm assuming that's the same Jose Rijo who helped sweep the A's in the 1990 uh, World Series for the Cincinnati Reds. Um, had no clue he played with the A's. Well, that's an interesting tidbit. Kirby Puckett, all-star. Uh, again, the late, great Kirby Puckett. No longer with us. Wallace Johnson, Gorman Thomas, Andres Thomas. Tops all-star rookie, Andres Thomas. Terry Pohl, Dave Henderson, Ray Searage, Dave LaPointe, and the Braves leaders. All right, five packs left. Closing in on two hours of video. If you are still with me, you know, thank you for watching this. <laughs> you know, um, you obviously have a, a love of this set like I do and um, yeah, if you're still watching this, you really should just get on eBay or actually go to like a, if you have a local flea market or a local um, a show, card show, you know, you can probably get this box for uh, for even cheaper possibly. Don Slot, Dave Drabecki, Kevin Romine, Romine again, Tony Pena, Bob Forsh, Joe Ursulak, Dave Collins, George Brett. That's a good duplicate to get. Love George Brett cards. Jorge Orta. 
There's another Jamie Moyer rookie at Old Wine Owen. There's another Eddie Murray. So this is this is a pretty good pack here. Andre Thornton. Another Roger Clemens record breaker. Dick Williams. Ron Davis again. Uh, Minnesota leaders. So we'll be opening. You know, I've got. Um, also have 87 Donruss to open. I've got 87 Fleer to open. Uh, I will get a box of 88 tops. I don't yet have a box of 88 tops, but I've got 89 tops. I've got 90 tops. Um, got got a lot of Fleer and Donruss products from those various years as well. Um, so, so we've got quite a bit more of, um, of junk wax cards to go. I'll try to try to post a video every every couple weeks. Dustin's, you know, Dustin's staying on top of his videos. He'll probably post at least every other week, if not weekly as well. Um, he's really opening some very cool modern products. I mentioned the Stadium Club, which man, I may have to get me a box of those too. I don't really collect the modern stuff anymore, but the the photography on that is unbelievable, and the fact that they actually do have some of these older players um, for me is really cool. Um, Rafael Ramirez, Andre Dawson. Oh man, I can't believe I, I kind of forgot about him. He's my favorite all-time player. Still with the Expos uh, here, but um, yeah, I believe he signed with the Cubs in the offseason. I believe he played with the Cubs in the 87 season, hit 49 home runs. Um, was an Austin was I think he was the MVP in 1987. Uh, Rick Dempsey, obviously he's an Andre Dawson's Hall of Famer. Uh, Del Murphy, speaking of the Hall of Fame, not a Hall of Famer. Never hit for great average, but um, you know Del Murphy just the kids in the South. You know I grew up in in the South, Tennessee. You, you kind of you know you kind of were automatically a Braves fan. Um, he was just kind of everybody's favorite player um, and kind of backed it up, you know. Uh, Harold Reynolds and Mike Schmidt, all-star. So Mike Schmidt, let's see, probably led the league in what, home runs. Yep, 37. Uh, Glenn Davis, Dave Dell Murphy there, and then I mentioned he had 29 home runs. Can you imagine, like, you do <laughs> in the late 90s when guys are hitting 60-plus home runs and, you know, you're in you're in the top five with uh, 27 home runs. So that's uh, uh, a sign of the times. Uh, Luis Aquino, Aquino, Wild Thing, Joel Skinner, Ray Soff, Glenn Hoffman, Teddy Higuera, Guerra again, and Craig Metals. All right, so we still don't have a Mark McGuire. Um, that's probably the most notable card that I can think of off the top of my head here that we are still missing. Uh, don't have the Rod Carew. I believe there's a Rod Carew. I think there's a Rod Carew. Don't have the Pete Rose yet. That's kind of a disappointment. Really wanted Pete Rose. Um, you know, quite honestly, I may buy it buy another box of these and then just open them off camera for, uh, for the pure pure fun of it. Hal McRae, maybe maybe collate a set, uh, another set here. Houston Astros leader, Ed Hearn, Phil Bradley, another Lenny Dykstra, Mike Lavalier. There's another straw man, Jim Clancy, uh, Gene Walter, Ken Landro, boom, that makes me happy. Another bow. Uh, that one looks eh, maybe a little off center. It's close though. It's close. Uh, Steve Lake, Rick Sutcliffe, Tigers leaders. Another Don Mattingly. I think I got a Don Mattingly and Bo Jackson in the same pack earlier. Same two cards: Kirby Puckett, All Star, and uh, Wallace and Johnson. So. Good pack there. Maybe we can get us a Pete Rose. 
Not the wire. Uh, have we got a Reggie Jackson yet? I don't think so. A few, few good cards that we could get here. Got to get that gun from the right side. If you get it from one side, sometimes it just won't pull off. All right, Danny Cox. Dwight Lowry, Marty Barrett, Steve Fire Ovid, Alex Trevino, Jan, John Candelaria, Bill Gulickson, Bob Kipper, another Davy Lopes, Cliff Speck, Ozzy Virgil, Lance Parrish, Carl Willis, Mike Morgan, Wayne Krenchicki. Dan Petrie and Todd Worrell. So that was a uh, that was a disappointing next to the last pack. So let's open up one last pack here. See if we get lucky with our Mark McGuire at all. So these are some cards that I haven't seen yet. So maybe this is a nice, clean, fresh pack. That's Strawberry Mets Leaders. Eddie Milner, Kurt Young, Bill Allman, George Thomas, Andres Thomas. We have seen that one for sure. Terry Poole, yeah, we've got lots of those. Dave Henderson, Ray Searage, Dave LaPointe, Braves Leaders, Harold Reynolds, and last... Mike Schmidt All-Star. So, uh, that is all of our packs. We'll quickly go back through uh, some of these uh, cards that I kind of set aside here. I got a Mike Schmidt All-Star, Kirby Puckett All-Star, Mattingly All-Star, Bo Jackson, Strawberry, Schmidt All-Star, Clemens Record Breaker, Eddie Murray, Jamie Moyer, Puckett All-Star, Goose Gossage, Phil Necro, John Cruck, Rookie, Andre Dawson, George Brett, Clemente, Jim Rice, Don Mattingly All-Star, Bo Jackson, Jamie Moyer, Rookie, Roger Clemens, Eddie Murray, Burke Flylevin, Mari Wills, Gary Carter, Gary Carter, Nolan Ryan, Bruce Souter, is it Souter or Sutter? Bruce Souter, I think, Dwight Gooden. Our lone single Jose Canseco, Dave Winfield, Ryan Sandberg, Ricky Henderson, Schmidt, uh, Gary Carter, All Star Strawberry, Steve Carlton, Will Clark, Cal Ripken, Vida Blue, Dwight Gooden, Roger Clemens, All Star, Cal Ripken, Will Clark, Schmidt again, got a lot of Schmidt's, Wade Boggs, All Star, Barry Bonds, I think that's the only one, Goose Gossage, another George Brett. Clemente, Gwen All-Star, Jim Rice, Phil Necro, Maury Wills, Roger Clemens, Crook, Barry Larkin, Rookie, Dostrimsky, Jack Morris, and Tom Seaver. Terrific Tom. So, if you made it this long, we're right at two hours almost. Thank you for watching. Um, look, at, look out for Dustin's videos. Uh, again, he's going to be opening the... the um, 2019 Stadium Club that's going to have some of these same players in it, and I will probably be opening um, uh, either another 87 product or I may go up to uh, another Tops product. We'll see. Uh, but until we, until next time, uh, we'll see you.